time to look at this question asked in november 2023 for three marks sesamoid bone you define it and give two examples that they are saying okay define what sesamoid bone and give two examples okay so this has been asked in the anatomy final exam theory paper okay so now let's get started first of all with the definition sesamoid bone is what it is a small bone where is it found in the tendon okay it is where in the tendon you should say okay it's in the tendon where especially at a joint okay at the end of long bone at the end of long bone you will have joint only so in that joint in the tendon you will find the small bone sesamoid bone it is called this one actually will ossify at puberty so you can remember around 13 years teenage when they become okay so at this age it will ossify and appear in the x ray why is this why is this sesamoid bone ossifying and coming and showing in the x ray at puberty is because it is its job is to form in this tendon so that it can elevate some stress from the joint okay so the job of the sesamoid bone is to elevate the alleviate okay not to increase not that elevate alleviate the stress on the particular i would say just reduce the stress on the particular tendon or muscle okay so first of all let us see an example here this is the very famous uh, uh, knee joint so here in the knee joint you have a long bone that is femur here you have the tibia here you have the fibula so here you have the sesamoid bone that is the patella so patella is a small bone that is a sesamoid bone where should it be it should be in a tendon so the tendon here is the quadriceps muscles tendon so where should it be it should be in a joint at the end of a long bone we told you so this is the joint which joint this is the knee joint so which is the famous sesamoid bone patella touch your knee and feel that patella in front so when would you see it in an x ray 13 years onwards okay because it is after at it ossifies at puberty okay so it becomes calcified ossified like a bone it becomes at puberty okay so now let's read this sentence what is it it's a bone yes it's a type of bone where does it develop in tendons at the end of long bones in the joint they ossify at puberty right and <coughs> so basically i told you what is their job to reduce the stress on the tendon okay so that is what you have understood all keywords for definition you have understood now right now shall we go to example already one example you know which it is which is it patella 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 is a sesamoid bone so where is it it is at the uh, it is in the quadriceps tendon in the knee joint so one example you have learned okay now coming to the second example pc form pc form p i s i f o r m pc form see here it is in the right hand touch it and near, near the flexor retinaculum after the ulna you should be feeling a pc form if you are about 13 so basically pc form okay pc form so it is a sesamoid bone which is the tendon flexor carpi ulnaris remember ulna 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 on the lateral side right so you have to remember flexor carpi ulnaris carpi like all these are carpal bones here which you can see in the wrist joint so basically this these carpal bones can serve as the age determination okay so if they ask you clinical anatomy at the end you will always write clinical anatomy right in that you will write what age determination okay so if in case uh, the person has uh, delayed onset of puberty then he can have delayed ossification of these bones also that also you should remember okay anyways let's come back here so two uh, bones you already told the patella that is in the quadriceps tendon in the knee and the pc form in the flexor carpi ulnaris tendon in the hand in the wrist joint you can say because it's more about a joint correct then then one more example if in case they have asked you three examples then you can write this one in the head of the first metacarp uh, metacarpal so this is metacarpal right in the head of it so here you can see one small bone they have shown so that is also a sesamoid bone so muscle if you have to write then you have to write which muscle the 
muscles of the thumb that is the pollicis muscles the flexor pollicis brevis and the abductor pollicis brevis okay these two muscles you can write and it is forming in many other tendons also so many other tendons can have many other sesamoid bones this much is enough okay now finally what you have to write is clinical importance correct did you uh, listen to me clinical importance you have to write at the end of every uh, anatomy questions to get a little more uh, uh, bonus marks okay so age determination we told you then it what is the job of it it relieves tension within the muscle and tendon okay that also we told you then even these can fracture that you should know then uh, puberty onset right puberty onset so that one uh, in clinical importance you can add here because here they have mentioned if you can see here sesamoid ossified during puberty and delayed ossification can indicate delayed onset of puberty so just by looking at this x-ray of the wrist what and all you can see so much of age right you remember all this uh, um, uh, bones here all the carpal bones names you should know here right so each of this has an age of appearance in the x-ray so age determination you can do and if somebody comes and says the child hasn't achieved puberty you can again look at this and see if there is ossification of the pisiform uh, if not there is a delayed onset of puberty something like that sounds like the actual thing you have to talk to a, do a clinical uh, person but as of now as of textbook knowledge i am telling you that puberty onset so you can kind of determine okay what else that's all right you're done with this uh, question on uh, sesamoid bone can you draw any diagram in case they have asked for little more marks then you have to draw the knee joint diagram very easy to draw knee joint diagram this is femur then this is going to be your tibia for you okay tibia is going to be more like a t and then here you draw one side by side one nice fibula you draw okay and then here you have to draw the uh, the patella okay so our focus is what it is the patella so you draw one patella here and then you just complete the joint you just label this and say this is a sesamoid bone this is the patella they'll be very happy to give you marks okay if you want you can draw that cartilage and uh, uh, synovial cavity etc okay not required though i feel because the focus is on what the sesamoid bone okay you can draw the quadriceps tendon also so i'll just uh, show that also just in case so if you drew the patella like this then uh, above you draw some fibers of the uh, quadriceps tendon and you label that and here also you show some fibers below okay and then you label this as quadriceps tendon okay this is what this is patella okay